Pacific Northwest. It's very green around here. It's very beautiful. Massive trees on every side of you. A giant forest in my eyes. You can walk the dog. You can hop the frog. Anything, anything Wait, what? <laughs> you always have music on your head all the time? Overwatch occupies my brain. Heroes like May, Bastion, just because he's so unique as a character. Those types of heroes that you can really be creative with are the heroes I enjoy playing a lot. You hear people be like, wow, Z was the best Genji or whatever. I'm like, yeah, that's the ego boost, right? It feels awesome. But I try to stay away from comparisons like that just because it feels really cocky to be like, people really like you and enjoy you. Like, oh, you're like popular and fun. And it's like, I love my fans and they love the game and they love me or whatever. That's a two-way street. Love my fans. Overwatch, more so than any other game I've played, it comes down to like working well as a team because if you aren't functioning well as a team, it's really tough for individual players to carry. With a production like the Overwatch League coming, it's sort of just like that's when the game's competitive scene is actually going to start. I think we're going to see a higher level of gameplay than before. Super exciting from a player perspective to see where it's all going to lead. Yes, the Overwatch League is going to be a game changer. Let me show you how. Come on. The bigger Overwatch gets, the more competition there is. The more awesome the tournaments become, the increased level of play gets there too. It's just, it all comes together.